Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about an alternative to the Windows File Explorer called the Files app. And so if you're not a fan of the way the uh, Windows File Explorer functions, you could try it out and see how it works for you. So you might have noticed if you're using Windows 11 that the uh, File Explorer has changed anyways. And if you are using Windows 11 and you like the Windows 10, you know, menus up here with the ribbon interface, you could actually change that to uh, function more like this. And we did a video on that, so I'll put that in the uh, description if you want to check that out. But anyways, so here's the default, you know, Windows 10 File Explorer, you know, with the uh, quick access and this PC, and it'll show your individual disk drives and that kind of thing. So now we have the uh, Files app, which you could download from the Win or the Microsoft Store, once you download it, you'll have an open button there, or you can find it under your programs. And then once you open it, you'll see that it's kind of similar. And you got your drives here and your network and your favorites right here. And then you click on your main C drive here and you have your folders. But the best part about it is that you could uh, open new folders and tabs, kind of like you do on your web browser. So let's say I want to have this folder here open in a different tab, I could just right click on it, open a new tab, and I could toggle back and forth, you know, between these, and then while I'm in here, you know, toggle around, then just go right back to here. And then you'll have a lot of the same kind of Windows 11 looking icons here, you know, for new, you know, file or folder, cut, copy, paste, delete, that kind of thing. And then over here, you have selection options, you know, multi-select if you want to put the check boxes, or select all, or deselect all, that kind of thing. And your sort options, like you do normally, so they're just kind of laid out a little bit differently. And then also layout options here, show hidden items, show hidden file extensions, that kind of thing. And then you got your new window, and open in, if you want to open like a command prompt. So another way you could do, you could do new window from here, or new tab from here, I should say. And it'll take you right home, and then you can click on this vertical tab flyout, and it'll show you your open tabs here. And then you can just toggle in between them, like so. If you don't want one open, just close it, and that kind of thing. And so you have your back and forward buttons and refresh. Uh, and over here at the settings, you can change your color if you want. The default, if you want to go with the dark theme, default, the light theme, custom themes. There's only one thing under there, so I'm not sure what that does. If you want to have the sidebar settings, so if you want to uh, get, turn the favorites off, gets rid of that. If you want to turn library section on, most most of it's on by default, but you could turn some of these off if this clutter you know clutter there and you want to clean it up. Preferences, your language, date format, terminal applications, files and folders. Uh, you know, open new folders and new tab by default. Show hidden files and folders. Hide protected operating system files, single click options. So just all kinds of stuff here. That's kind of cool too. So you could open where you left off, kind of like you do in your web browser when you open it. Multitasking. We have the dual pane view, which is off by default. So if you turn that on and then open new tabs in dual pane mode. So we close this. So now if we go open a new tab so it does the dual pane view or it has a oh there's nothing in there so let's try a better option here there we go actually got to expand the arrows here which were closed up so this is the dual pane view. We can see your drives, your folders, and so on, recent files. Going back to the settings here. So that's off by default. So it's up to you if you want to use that. Then the experimental section, file tags, and show folder sizes. So uh, this probably means that they're still working on it. So you use this at your own risk type of thing. So that's about it. You know, so it does a lot of cool stuff, and it's you know different. But the best part, I think, are the tabs here. Kind of like a web browser so if you're rather than having 20 different file explorer windows open here you could just have it open in the tabs and makes it a lot easier to you know navigate in between your different drives and stuff so anyways so just go to the microsoft store and look for files make sure it has this icon here with a little blue and yellow so you download the right one 
and install it for free and then try it out. And then, of course, you can you know, still use the, the default file explorer so you can go back and forth between them and see which one you like the best. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.